Am I missing something? Why is there just a random fucking Batman in the corner? Because it's non bread. So it's na 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 Batman. Fun fact, cats don't just wiggle their butts before they pounce out of excitement. They're also making tiny adjustments to the position of their feet in order to move more precisely aimed to unsuing lunge. Or in other words, your cat is calibrating. Loading pounce.exe. Initializing. Analyzing target coordinates. Trajectory adjustments required. Initiate calibration protocol. Wigglebutt.exe. Wiggling. Wiggling. Calibration complete. Initializing. Pounce in three, two, one. Pounce initiated. Results. Slammed head first into wall. Please debug wigglebutt.exe. A huge and ancient dragon loses her clutch of eggs. She decides to adopt an office building full of employees as her children. But to keep them safe, she doesn't want to let any of them leave. Mighty office, destroy your kingdom, split- Uh, right. Mom, um, so I had to get back home. I got like three kids who need dinner and I really should go, go back to- why, why, why are you crying? Good babies! Behold one square foot of bun! Fun fact, a group of bunnies is called a fluffle. <sighs> One square foot of fluffle! People who can't distinguish between etymology and entomology bug me in ways I can't put into words! Okay, fuck whoever this guy is. Quarantine feels kind of like that area between Christmas and New Year's where I have no idea what day of the week it is or if I'm supposed to be going to work. AM and PM kind of blend together. I've taken four naps in ten hours. Leftovers are my primary food source. And I got that weird Sunday anxiety except it's every day for the next two weeks. <laughs> For New York, it's like two months. I'm a them fatale. My gender is a mystery, but I am very sexy and dangerous. Remember the start of season one and everything was okay? I'm not really sure what show you're referring to, and that scares me. A teenage white girl sits at her laptop. She opens Tumblr and types a new text post. Most girls like One Direction, but I don't. Punk bands are way better. Suddenly, a trophy falls from the sky. The girl has done it. She's the most unique girl in the entire world. A choir of angels writes a hymn exalting her superiority to the rest of humanity. My Chinese teacher once shared the story in class about someone who went to the grocery store to buy chicken. But they forgot the English word for it, so they grabbed an egg, went to the nearest sales lady, and said, Where's the mother? Okay, so this just hit me. Humidifiers fill the air with water molecules from a source of water, right? Okay. So what if someone filled a humidifier with holy water? Would this essentially cleanse the room of all evil? So, what I've learned from this, either demons aren't real, or demons are afraid because humans keep coming up with $40 solutions to demon problems. Yeah. Technically, aren't the people in fandoms that like intensely adore a villainous character and jump straight into another one when they appear, are also minions by definition. You know, next time you can just come kill me in person, it would be kinder. I think people should have mascots. Mine would be a golden retriever wearing sunglasses and holding a beer. I have been informed this is called a fursona. Wait, hold up. Make old mascot small blue elf. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I present to you, Principal Nezu snuggling up to Aizawa's scarf, like if you agree. I'm pretty sure we have more chairs. It's nice and warm over here, though. Do even his glasses have subtitles? That is next level typesetting. Bro? Are you fucking kidding me? You know what? Ghosts are so funny. There are people who are just like, you know what, actually fuck dying, and decide to cause problems on purpose for the rest of everyone else's lives. Those are goals, to be honest. The Untitled Ghost Game. It's a lovely morning in Amity Park, and you are a horrible ghost. Do you ever just cycle through the same four apps on your phone over and over again and feel like a tiger pacing its cage at the zoo? If you're doing this, it is because you, like the tiger, need enrichment and variety in your life. May I suggest cramming a whole bunch of raw hamburger into a pumpkin and rolling it around your enclosure? Uh, th there's a leaf in your water. The person who's about to invent tea. Oh, you haven't heard? This is literally what happened! I'm screaming, I did not know this! Okay, start time. The story of tea begins in China. According to legend, in 2737 BC, the Chinese emperor, Shen Nong, was sitting beneath a tree while his servant boiled drinking water. 
when some leaves from the tree blew into the water. Shengnong, a renowned herbalist, decided to try the infusion that his servant had accidentally created. The tree was a camella sinensis. Sinensis, sinensis, sinensis. And the resulting drink was what we now call tea. Beautiful. Social media is wonderful because it let common folk enjoy endless posturing, making of enemies, and flaunting of wealth and romantic prospects, all of which was previously reserved for the aristocracy. What's the difference between posting a selfie at a gym knowing your high school bully will see it, and showing up to the Archduke's ball with a new silk gown from Italy to one-up Janet of Salisbury? That is the hottest take. You ever meet someone who makes you wish you had a large iced coffee to slurp loudly every time they started talking? Telling them someone to shut up will always be the simplest and most effective shutdown. But nothing says a total lack of respect or regard for their opinion, like putting a straw to your lips and slowly, excruciatingly taking a drag so the crushed ice scrapes against the inner tubing while maintaining eye contact the entire time so there's absolutely no way they can assume it's unintentional on your part. Jesus, we're all fucking Sharons right now, aren't we? Turns up to court in a fursuit. Hi, I'm your puppet deferder. <laughs> Hello? I'll be guilty if you arrest them too. My coffee got cold, so I made an owl with it. You made a fucking owl with your coffee? I can't even make coffee with coffee. I hate drama. I'm gonna stay out of it. Guess what happened? Oh, what happened, bitch? Wait, wait, let me go get my... Fuck, let me go get my popcorn. Don't say a single word until I get back. Fuck. Fuck. Never underestimate the power of telling yourself, Whoa, calm down there, edgelord, every once in a while. Thanks, I needed that. Oh, if only there was a letter in Paris that resembles the Eiffel Tower. Oh, boy. Wow, Paris is a lovely time this year. Bonjour. Some of y'all motherfuckers on here are beyond needing Jesus. We're gonna have to go all the way back to Norse mythology to find a specific pagan god that will fix your shit. Calm down, Joe. Being married to an elf would suck because they'd just be like, I wrote a short ballad in the subject of our love. Would you like to hear it? Proceeds to sing for the next 12 hours without pause because that's what's considered brief by elf standards. And being married to a dwarf would suck because they'd be like, spend 36 hours carving a pattern of a single face on a hammer. They're forging because you can't rush art and forgets that you even exist until you're forced to come down and persuade them to return to the surface to take a nap before they collapse of exhaustion. <gasps> Oh, so you really can't win. Yeah, but as a dwarf dating an elf, wouldn't it be nice to hear your lover singing a ballad while you worked? You're too smart to be following me. I am very intelligent, but I am also so fucking stupid. I know everything, but I have never known what's going on in a day in my life. No, I won't elaborate. Mood. You know, not enough people named Wolfgang these days. Shaking my head, what's with that? I had an uncle named Wolfgang, but he's a goat. Does that count? Now, we don't have time to unpack all of that. If we keep accusing people of being the Zodiac Killer, eventually we'll get it right. Maybe the real Zodiac Killer is the friends we made along the way. Bruh. A long sleeve shirt that says sleeves are bullshit. A shirt that says sun's out, gun's out, but is also long sleeve. A shirt that says I flexed and the sleeves fell off, but the sleeves are definitely still there. Really trying to get this one to take off, huh? Be nice to me!